Now it's time to analyze our first set of reactions, which are the parallel reactions. So let me give you a little bit introduction. We're going to see how to minimize the undesired products and how to ma maximize our desired products. So not only this, we're going to do also this. Of course, we're going to use parallel systems. That means we have reaction number one and reaction number two. Com they are competing to get the desired product and the undesired product. We can do this either by choosing different reactor types that favor our conditions, or we can also set our operating conditions. And not only that, of course, you can mix them. You choose a reactor with this type of condition and will be the best. And the thing here that I want to tell you guys is that we're going to use two types of criteria, criteria will be essentially, well, let me give you the small contraction. A turns to the desired product and A turns into the desired product. As you can see, you have parallel reactions. So A may either go for the first one or second one. If you were to do this like this, you will see that the desired reaction depends in first KD and this coefficient. And the undesired reaction depends on KU and this coefficient. So, probably you don't know by now, but uh, the addition of reactions or rate of reactions are essentially the addition of these two guys. So, if I wanted to know the overall or the net or the total amount, will be essentially if you have some addition and some subtraction, well, in total, if you add them, you will get the general value. So, if you got plus 5, minus 2, the net value will be 3. Or if you have 2, minus 4, you will have minus 2, etc. So what happens if we add these two rate of reaction? Will be the rate of reaction of uh, the desired product and the rate of reaction of the undesired product. Remember, these are positive because they, they are products. And this is a reactant. So essentially, we just need to add them. KD times concentration of A to the alpha, and KU times concentration of A to the alpha 2. So, of course, be sure not to confuse these two alphas. And what we're going to be doing in this set of videos is how to change K and how to change alpha. Well, not change, but how to interact with that in order to increase our selectivity. These are the cases that we're going to be analyzing. So, as you've seen before, <coughs> we wanted to know selectivity. Selectivity, by definition, is the wanted the rate of. This is instantaneous, of course. Will be the desired and the undesired, and you will get KCA alpha and KCA alpha two. Okay, so this can be expressed as this here. So this will be, let's say, like our master equation to analyze the different cases. When alpha 1 is bigger than alpha 2, of course, when it's lo uh, less than alpha 2. And not only that, guys, because this is one thing, the concentration. And the other one is the rate of reaction constant, K, which, of course, you probably remember, depends on the activation energy, R, T, this factor, etc. Since R and they are at the same temperature, these are not factors that we can change. Alpha, yeah, it also depends on the reaction. But what we can actually analyze or change is the activation energy with catalyst and all that. So we're going to also analyze the activation energy of the desired product when it's bigger than this and when it's lower or less than this. <coughs> So once we finish, you will be able to see at least how we are going to approach this. And not only that, eventually we're going to use uh, reactors and what type of conditions are these optimizing our selectivity. So this was just theory. Next video, we're going to analyze case one and hopefully you get the idea of why are we using alpha one, alpha two, uh, why are we giving values, etc.
What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.